a, t a tough way to get out. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I, I felt so good about them getting in with the way they so. got in to the knockout round, mm -hmm. and then it just ended so quickly. The other things are tough. Yeah. Yeah. But, but they did get to that next round at least. They did. And they the did. turnout, despite the rain in San Jose, people were still out there. The party was on at 7 in the morning. And it is still coming <laughs> down right now. Yeah. Speaking of San Jose and the South Bay, that's where some of the top rain totals continue to be as the most widespread significant rain of the weekend is occurring right now near San Jose down into Morgan Hill where it's 49 degrees, not far off from what you want to call today's high temperatures. We only made it to the upper 40s and low 50s for highs today. We'll take you over to Dublin, another soggy location. More than a half inch of rain has fallen so far and you can see some of that along 580 there as you pass Dublin Pleasanton. 46 right now in San Rafael with some rain on approach there. And obviously the Golden Gate Bridge, another one of our soggy commutes for you this Saturday evening at about 48 degrees. So as you look at the radar view, we're beginning to see more now spilling up into Marin County. Not quite up to Sonoma County yet, but the focus throughout the afternoon has certainly been around the Santa Clara Valley. Santa Cruz Mountains, more than an inch and a half of rain around Scotts Creek there. Uh, San Jose near the airport, closing in on a half inch of rain and more of that up the Sonol Grade, up towards San Ramon. Lafayette over to Orinda, seeing moderate rain at times. And more into Oakland, about a half inch of rain so far there. And near downtown, San Francisco into Marin County. But notice up here, this is sort of the exception to the rule with our storms. It's usually the North Bay that gets the most rain. Not the case right now. We're watching these two weather systems passing through the Bay Area. Moisture that was around the central coast this morning still moving northward. This is the first round. And then the cold front along the coast is what's going to kind of kick this off towards the east overnight tonight. So look at this future cast, how widespread that significant rain is starts to move out as we pass midnight. Then as we head into Sunday morning, South Bay starts to catch a break and then the next band of showers drops into the North Bay for the morning. So in terms of Sunday, the most widespread rain should be set up across the North Bay. Scattered showers at times, a mix of sunshine, and those shower chances will likely follow us into the afternoon of highs in the upper 50s. Odds are we'll see showers around for the 49ers game, so watch out for that. You can see through the day Sunday, those showers most significant across the North Bay where those locations could pick up maybe a half inch or more there in the North Bay by the end of the weekend. And for the Sierra, this means two feet of new snow on the way by the end of the weekend. Plan on one more day of showers. Monday looks a lot like what we're seeing here to wrap up the weekend. Then as that system starts to move out, skies start to dry out Tuesday into Wednesday. Next chance of showers probably holding off till about Thursday. But overall, I'd have to say the seven day forecast is starting to look and feel a lot more like December as we make up for some of those rainfall deficits we built up in November. See our snowpack also 140% of average. So there's the silver lining to this weather pattern. It's been cold enough to start building that Sierra snowpack. Now, we were we were kind of here last December. Yes. And then things true. went dry. So hopefully we keep the momentum going. All right. Rob, thanks a lot.